Good morning. And welcome to 11.2 Celsius Winnipeg. Yeah, fall is coming. And uh, so is our sunrise, I think. Uh, at this time yesterday morning, it was just showing itself. Now, I don't know, it, it could be that the the cloud cover is just a little bit, or, or maybe that's fog, I'm not sure. But I I don't know if we're gonna actually be able to see the sun itself, but we can, we can tell it's trying to come up there. Uh, I got a, a comment from from somebody from who lives at in the Isle of Wight, and he mentioned how uh, his his latitude is the same as ours, and so I went on on Google Maps, and sure enough, we're pretty Winnipeg and the Isle of Wight is pretty much exactly on the same latitude. So I told him, well, at least our our sunrises are going to be at the at the same time, only six hours apart. <laughs> Yeah, there's six hours ahead of us over there. Uh, yeah. Well, that, but what's even worse, I think people in Australia are like a whole day ahead of us. <laughs> oh, no, I guess it'd be half a day. <laughs> and anyway, yeah. Now, we did make a little bit of progress here yesterday. We, uh, we got the, uh, the gun tubs in place. We got some painting done. Uh, I, I think that, uh, I think we should sort of roll back and see how it is we got to where we are, and then we'll just try and continue on. I got a feeling that we might get our photo etch done today. Uh, yeah, but if I keep talking, we're not gonna, will we? Let's roll back. Now I know that normally what we do right now is we roll the clock back and we look at what happened yesterday. But I was noticing later on that the sunrise did come up and we could sort of see it. Yeah, and it was sort of nice. So let's watch it in time lapse. It's only going to take about 10 seconds. Okay, now because I don't want to have to paint the top again if I don't have to, I'm going to see if I can bring my brush up at an angle like this and have it coming up off of the top instead of down onto the top. At least that's the plan. We'll see how it goes.
Okay, that's the last one. I'll let those dry and see if I need to give them another coat now. And at uh, 56, it seemed to cover pretty good. I was afraid there might be some sort of a reaction going on there, but uh, it looks all right to me. I'm guessing probably two hours has passed here since we painted the outside of these. I don't know if I'm sort of courting disaster here, but... I think I must have grabbed my my old extra thin bottle here because yeah I got the one that's almost empty but that that'll be enough if I put a little on the inside here oh I didn't want to get it on the paint okay I got to sort of scrunch down here so I can see where I'm going. All right. I don't think it matters which way I have it. Maybe turn it like that. Notice there's a bit of a blemish on the side there. I'll put the blemish to the back. Okay, yeah, that, that's going to be all right. We'll let that uh, dry and then whatever is going to go in the in the middle of the tub. Okay, this wire's kind of in the way here. See if I can pull it out. There we go. Swing it off to the side a little bit. And be sure and put it back after. Alright. I'm just doing a dry run here. Yeah, where's my other tweezers? Maybe we can use Tony's will be good for that here. Maybe I'll grab it back here. That way I won't be scratching the front up. And then I got my my other extra thin this time. Lots on this one. Yeah, that looks good from my perspective and I look when I look straight down on it. This flat side is you know straight with what would be the keel, if you could see the keel. Okay. Now maybe what we'll do is we'll use Tony's tweezers right from the start here. Now, don't want to be catching on stuff like that. I better put this back. Okay, that'll help. No guarantee, but it'll help. Okay, I'm just going to do a, a bit of a dry run here now. It's a rather bit of a, a tight fit. 
it's uh yeah but it, it does go there is a there's a mushroom vent right in behind there that's that's rubbing against the the back of the of the uh splinter guard okay let's let me uh, reposition here a little bit here Oh, see if I can put it in that hole without getting it on the deck. A little bit on the deck's okay. Okay, we have two more that have to go uh, mirror image only on the other side. I'm noticing though that they almost look like they should have a second coat on them, especially this one. It looks a little bit... Yeah, I'm going to take out a few minutes here and I'm going to give give them a second coat on the sides. Um, at, at least at least I'm, I'm thinking they should have. No. That's just my unprofessional opinion here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and paint these, stick them on the other side, and then we'll move to the stern where we'll be doing something a little bit different. Okay, we have the two on the other side now. This one here, and this one here. Now we're going to do something back here. Now I gave this piece a second coat a few minutes ago, I don't know. I'm noticing it's still a little bit on the... a little bit on the wet side, and, and it looks like I got a splatter of something on there. What's that all about? I, I just noticed that now. Okay, I'm going to have to push stop and uh, and fix that. Must have been uh, must have been some glue or something. Okay, I was uh, looking at it closely, and I do believe it's a a little you might call it a dollop of uh, of paint. Now, as it turns out, this is supposed to go this way. The the doors, according to the manual face in where it won't really be seen and these these two holes on the top are are towards the stern so we're just gonna just gonna leave it I'm gonna reposition a little bit here Yeah, that's going to fit nicely. Oop, got a little bit too much on there. Gotta do everything on camera, don't I? I don't know when we're gonna need these, but I, I imagine we will. We've used up three of them now. 
All right, we have all the plastic parts for 39 in place. We have two pieces of photo etch to get. A piece of railing that has to be bent in sort of a U shape and it's going to go around right here. And I think maybe the best way to do that is to try and make it just a little bit smaller than this and then have sort of a friction fit. At least that's the plan for right now. And over here we have a ladder that has to be bent and go on the side here. Um, okay, two things. First of all, it's it's getting late. Secondly, I heard my air conditioner start up a few minutes ago and I looked at the temperature and the indoor was 25.5. And, but I noticed the, the outdoor is only 20. So if I'm smart, I'm going to stop what I'm doing right now and open my windows and shut the air conditioner off. But doesn't that make a lot more sense? It does to me. Unless the humidity outside is 100% or something, but I don't think it is. Anyway, I think we're going to call her quits for this evening, so we'll see you in the morning. Okay, we need photo etch B4. Before what? Well, I guess before the end of the day. Okay. We got it. Very delicate little uh, railing. Uh, I think I mentioned this before, but I, I do believe that these are more fragile than the ones that came with the Bismarck, but either that or because it was almost four years ago. Well, three anyway. Uh, maybe I'm not as delicate as I used to be. Now, where does the radius start? Okay, now it looks like it starts right about right there. Okay, so that means that I want to start I want to start my bend from about this post to this post and keep everything else straight. At least that's the plan. And uh, which side are the, are, the, are the stanchions on? Okay, they're, they're on this side here, I think. Kinda hard to tell the way this thing is, is molded here. Um, well, I guess it doesn't really matter if you can't tell. All right, we'll, we'll do it this way. So in other words, we're going to want to bend it from here to here. Let me get a steel dowel. Okay. So I'm going to want to go from about right here to about right there. And uh, we're going to start out easy. So we'll put it here and just roll. Try and keep the same pressure and stop. We'll put a little bit more pressure. And stop. Now we've almost got it. I want it to be slightly closed because I think, if you recall, I was talking about I was going to rely on 
on uh, a friction fit. I want to just sort of have it sort of clip on, in place and be there all by itself. So we'll just go from here to here and stop. All right. Now that's I'm looking straight down on it now. It's it's not perfect. The the bend I'm noticing that the bend right here is a little bit sharp. Maybe I pressed a little bit too hard right there. We'll see what happens when we try to fit it into place. Okay. I can see that that corner that I thought that, that I got the radius a little bit too tight. It kind of is. Now here's an here's another way of maybe doing it. Instead of trying to shove it down over top of that that uh, deck. How would it be if I was to just sort of put it, spring it out on both sides. Now I, re I realize you can't see the other side, but I can, because I'm looking more or less straight down on it. I'm just trying to hook it over there. Now if I was to shove it in place, how is it going to come here? Or is it going to just sort of pop off on me? Now I, w I want it to go around the outside of this thing, not not sit on the deck. Because if I try to have it sit on the deck, it's going to be uh, a way too uh, close to this thing. No, nobody could conceivably squeeze themselves in between the railing and whatever this is. I mean, why else have a railing there? except people were going to be walking on this platform. Um, at least that's my thinking on it. Now, I guess I'm going to be getting my fingers in your way there. Okay, I can go like that. You know, that just almost does it. That almost does it. Now, there, there is the other thing that I could do, and that would be to don't try and do the whole thing all at once get it as, as more or less right as I can. Whoops, it came off here. Okay, get it get it as more or less right as I can. I'm making it worse, aren't I? Okay, and and uh, and glue one side on and wait for it to cure really good. And then, and then do the other side, if you know what I mean. And I don't, once again, I don't know how much of this I'm going to want to try and do on camera. Okay, I am noticing, however, that if I have it so that this railing is right up against the splinter guard, or where the end of my finger is touching, this one just doesn't quite make it. So does that mean that this thing has to sit on top of the, in, or, or, in order to not have a gap? Let's see if we can get this to come up here. Yeah, there's, there's going to be about a three millimeter gap there at the end of that. Whereas if I have it sitting on the top, I'm probably going to end up having this thing so bent out of shape, I'm going to have to straighten it out and start all over again.
Whereas if I have it sitting on the top, I, I can get it to... All right, here, here's another thought. Now, now you can see where I was talking about before. Let's see if I can get this to just sort of sit there. Now, there should be a space between between the wall of, of this round cylinder, which is this probably it's a support for one of the uh, anti-aircraft guns are going to be going up here. And uh, I, I want it to look believable. Now, it it would be quite easy to just well, and I guess that's what we're going to have to do. I guess a, a skinny sailor could sort of slither himself around that. Wouldn't be me, that's for sure. Okay, we will put the macro lens on in a minute here. But I just want it to be zoomed back so that you can see the perspective. In other words, uh, how I've got it set up. And uh, I'm noticing now that I'm looking at it in kind of close that perhaps I'm going to have to move this railing towards me about a fraction of a millimeter so there's more on the edge and I'm going to be t putting a little bit of CA right right there and not not very much just just enough to hold this end then I'm going to go in and do the same thing on the other side and then we'll, we'll just fasten this down where it happens to fall if you know what I mean um, Let's stick the macro lens on. Now, I don't know if I dare try this or not. I'm going to try and come in from behind with a pinhead here and just pull it back just slightly. Actually, the holder downer is holding it down on the deck. It's about half a millimeter too far too far in I it'd be nice if I could get something that I could just hook around that stanchion and just pull it back okay I knew if I looked long enough I'd find something here I'm pushing it in not pulling it out this is not going to work this is not going to work those rails are oh here we go Well, it was coming. I guess I, I guess I tipped it back too far here. Why is that beating on there? I want it to run run along the edge of the rail. There, I think it did now. Okay, what is pizza day without pizza? Now, this is not the first piece of pizza that I took out of the microwave this, this morning. Uh, it's the second one. I got this out of the freezer after the half a piece of pizza that I had left over from last week. Uh, I left it in too long and it just turned to mush and I just couldn't show that. So this looks better. Uh, it's probably not gonna taste any better. However, uh, next week I'm going to try something different with the pizza. I'm going to maybe try Jason's idea. UK Jason? I think it was UK Jason that suggested maybe next time make a triple decker. Like this is a double decker. It's got uh, two crusts. There's a crust on the top and a crust on the bottom. Well, I've got that deep dish thing. Well, I think I'm going to give it a try. And, uh, okay. Now, not to spin this around 75 times. Let's just turn it a little bit here and, uh, uh, and enjoy it, and I'm going to enjoy it off camera. Now there are two things that I have realized here. First of all, 
I should have painted that railing before I glued it on there. I guess I was thinking that I'll paint it afterwards, but I'm realizing now that it's going to be a little difficult to paint because it's going to be so close to that other part. I don't know if I'm going to pull it off and re-glue it and do everything off camera or not. Uh, anyway, the, the rest of this was, is going to have to be in tomorrow's rollback because uh, the second thing that I realized is this video is a lot longer than I thought. So, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.